Welcome back. Today's video is going to be about making the engine sort of stand that mainly holds the, the crank and the gears that drive down to the distributor and uh, the oil pump. So it's been a long, long bit of hogging out uh, but it's all come out rather nice. Did have one little problem, which is uh, my, the swing on my lathe wasn't big enough to do the seven degree taper in here. So I had to do it a slightly different way, which you'll see in the video. Um, other than that, it's, uh, it's fitted very nicely. The taper's working better than I would ever have imagined, but it certainly is tight on there. There's a nut then goes on here to then tighten that up further to the taper. Like so. And then there's these two little nuts uh, which as there's another stand this connects to, comes down and then up. This just ensures the clamping. So it's, uh, it's come out nicely. May not be the prettiest thing, but I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going for more functionality and get things in the right place and then trying to make it totally pretty but it doesn't look too bad at all. So enjoy the video. Any questions or comments, feel free. And uh, like I said, enjoy. Okay, this thick billet of aluminium is gonna be for the engine mount. I have drilled and reamed two holes in the A and B, half inch. Drill two holes to hold on to the ignition brush assembly and uh, put this slot in as well. So now we have all the holes this side drilled. That's the A hole, that's the B hole. That's going to be for the oil pump. These six holes round here uh, would be for the points if I use points. Um, I'm hoping I can get some electronic ignition for this, but if not, I've got the holes drilled already, and these are the standoff holes. Uh, I think go against the actual stand for the whole engine. So, what I'm going to do now is flip this over and put it on. Sorry. I'm not going to flip it over. I'm going to put this as it is on the rotary table. I'm going to be putting a boss in here, which I will fill for you. Um, and then this has got to then go down a certain measurement so this boss is proud. Complicated little part.
Okay, I decided to just put this on, on the bed. The distance from here to here is now correct. And I wanted to just double check and bore this around uh, concentric to that hole there. So now it's gonna be a case of taking these edges off rounded here and rounded here and then we flip it upside down, put it on the rotary table. So this is where I'm up to on the 
sort of engine mount. I've got the holes to drill around here. Now, this has got to be bored out to three quarters of an inch. Then there's a hole drilled in here that goes, this actually mounts onto the crankshaft itself with a seven degree taper. But it won't fit in my lathe. It won't fit on the face plate. So what I've decided to do, which I think uh, there was a comment not so long ago, uh, is I'm gonna have to make a slug that's got the taper in it, bore this out after all this work, he says. Uh, I have left this slightly oversized, so it will fit into that. So it'll have plenty of purchase on it and uh, fall back on the good old Loctite. But I don't see a bit of major problem other than I spent ages getting this right and getting this right. So it's took longer than I thought. Don't underestimate how much weight you take out of this. I think it's good two pins worth of swarf. But uh, anyway, I shall carry on. So what I've decided to do, um, if I'm going to have to plug it, I might as well give it a bit of a go, is I've got this dividing edge set at three and a half degrees. And I'm plunging from the back side and many around there. This hole needs to go to a certain dimension to the crankshaft and the bottom hole obviously as well. Uh, I've done a test piece and it's worked quite well, I have to say. Oh. Here's the test piece, large hole, small hole. And I thought, well, if I've got to put a plug in here, I might as well give it a go on here and see if it works. Um, I have also got to put a 30 degree chamfer on this edge here. It's a very difficult to film. This is hit on there. A chamfer on there as well. So it's basically an end mill in there and just moving on the X until I reach this given dimension and hopefully it's all going to work out very well. I'll show you a bit of it machining. It's a bit weird to get this square. But there we go. We'll see it going up and down. Kind of it. I'll bring you back when there's more to see. 